Depression should never be taken lightly. After all, it is a deep, pressing feeling of being shunned by those who just don't understand. Only deep thinkers can get depressed. And that is so uncommon nowadays, one should take it as a compliment. Okay, so this one will definitely be deep, obviously. And I have no doubt that at least one or maybe five people who've seen these two quotes got the gist, like, they got it. You know, depression is a really serious thing literally everywhere in the world. And unfortunately, in some countries, it is highly disregarded, especially in, in children. It's disregarded as them just being rude or having some attitude or it might just be a phase, you know, but if you really think about it, you would realize that there are a lot of things, a lot of measures, a lot of happenings in the world today that induce depression on a daily basis. And when you have a large group of not yet fully developed minds, AKA children and teenagers, young adults, they are more likely to become depressed. When I was depressed, I used to love dressing like this. I mean, I still do, but you could see it in my face, my, my demeanor, my mannerisms. You could see the change between a depressed person and I guess someone who's just sad. I didn't want to be an enabler because I know some of you might have noticed the difference in the background color but I didn't want to have everything all black at the same time because being depressed doesn't always look sad all the time it is literally classified as a medical condition a psychological disorder because is that serious unfortunately but that also means that it's not consistent it's it's a condition a, a syndrome something that is in remission so you won't see a depressed person looking depressed all the time they won't feel depressed all the time sometimes they would just feel mild depression and that might look as just regular sadness but if it is a constant or a consistent every day or every other day type thing then it is definitely depression It's something that needs to be addressed and talked about more often if you haven't realized by now this video will be long and it is mostly targeted for people who are depressed who are going through depression and for people who don't quite understand what it means to be depressed or what depression actually entails i'm here to kind of talk to both of you and anyone else who is still watching anyway i appreciate your support i'm glad you're still here okay so let's get into these quotes first the first one depression should never be taken lightly after all it is a deep pressing feeling of being shunned by those who just don't understand. Obviously, I defined it by breaking it up and using puns to get the point across. I made it specifically dark, not black, but dark. A dark background and a dark font that you had to really zone in on the picture in order to be able to read it. And once you do that, you would better be able to understand it, hopefully. So it is a, a deep, pressing feeling it's deep obviously and it's pressing because it's something that is it's permanent it's it's consistent it's it's ever present and and even when it's not active it still reminds you it's just right there in the back of your head just to let you know i know you're trying to be happy right now but don't forget about me don't forget that when you lay down and it's time to go to sleep i am going to wake up and we are going to have a chat. 
that is what depression does. It, it waits until you get quiet, until you get calm and cool, and then say, oh, remember this? You thought I forgot. That's what depression, depression does. And it is a feeling of being shunned by those who just don't understand because if you've never been depressed or even experienced mild depression or talked, like really talked to and with someone who experienced depression before, you would just shun that person. Like I said earlier, you would just disregard it as them being rude or having an attitude or just going through a phase. You're, you're shunning them out, locking them out of normalcy or the rest of normal society. You, you just don't understand. That's what that one was about. And then the second one, I made it even darker because I wanted you to zoom in on the picture again and really focus and try to read it. You know, sometimes, like I said before, you have to work for it, you know. Only deep thinkers can get depressed. And that is so uncommon nowadays, one should take it as a compliment. Now I know whoever is watching this and battling with depression might be wondering, how would you possibly turn this into a positive video? After all, it is talking about depression and there isn't technically a cure for it. And of course, there wouldn't be a cure for it because it is not a sickness. You are not sick, okay? You, are, you don't have an illness. You, you don't have a disorder. It's not something that you you can catch it's not contagious it's something that you experience obviously but it's also just another one of those things that you have to get over now for some of you it might take a year it might take five years for others it might take a week a month obviously it would be different times for different people depending on the level of depression that you're at, what caused the depression, if the source of the depression can be removed, all of these things come into play. But the upside, the positive side of being qualified to become depressed is that you have to be a deep thinker. You have to have been thinking about something that was so complicated in your own mind, so deep that only an analytical, comprehensive mind could get you to that state of mind. So that within itself is at least one point to help you feel better about your own self and to know that you have the ability to get out of that. Because if you can think deeply about a certain situation that will eventually help you become depressed, then you can think deeply about other situations and not necessarily situations with the intent of getting you out of depression but through the other situations that are not depressing or sad you would eventually come out of that state of depression I've been depressed twice in my life and with those two experiences I've learned everything that I'm saying now and I've learned that this is not something that you can just get rid of but it is something that can definitely go away. And I don't mean like go away for a few hours or for a few days. I'm talking at least a few years. And for some people, for a lifetime. And I really honestly believe that that is at least a little bit of motivation and encouragement to help you to not do anything rash with yourself or with anyone else to try and punish yourself for something that is more than likely not even your fault. And it is definitely something to look forward to. When, when, when battling with depression, you should always have something to look forward to. Refer to my keep your head up video. Even in depression, always look up at the sky. When the sun starts to shine, look up at it. Look up at it until your eyes burn if you have to. Don't blind yourself, but just keep trying to find that positivity in your life. Not with the intent to get rid of depression, but with the intent 
to get your mind off of the depression at least that is my my advice to you you might have your own strategies your own approaches to dealing with it and they might be working but if you forget anything that I say in this video if there's anything that you or anything that I would want you to take away from this video it would definitely be that you are a deep thinker that's the only way you could get depressed and that within itself is a compliment because you you're special you are an anomaly and that's a good thing because in this world if you can't think for yourself someone else will think for you and the last thing you want is to be depressed and have someone else thinking for you and although that's the worst thing to have it cannot happen because in order to be depressed you have to be a deep thinker and if you're a deep thinker you're good at analyzing and you're a good analyzer and if you just choose to analyze more things or different things things that don't attribute negative connotations and a depressing feeling then eventually you will at least get better and for everyone else that stayed this long and listened to what I have to say about depression I hope you at least show someone else who is battling with depression this video hopefully they can get something out of it or hopefully you have a better understanding of what depression actually is and how it works and how it doesn't work and if anything at all I hope you at least enjoyed listening to me talk I hope and for people who have depression hope is something that it's like money it's 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 more valuable than money it's it's a it's a prized possession it's something that you have to possess because without hope but I hope that everyone that watches this video learns something or at least shares this video with someone who might learn something because it's a serious topic it's especially serious in young people young adults young children and we need to talk about it more and we need to get more strategies and different avenues out there more options to explore so that depression becomes anything but a problem that's all I have to say about that